First, we begin with the safe outdoor space saga in the Albuquerque City Council. Angel Saucedo is here with what the city decided about funding organized homeless camps. Well, guys, these safe outdoor spaces were supposed to get thousands of dollars dedicated towards maintaining from them from the city. But in early September, the council passed a bill that removed that money. Mayor Tim Keller vetoed that bill, and tonight the council failed to override his veto, keeping the money with safe outdoor spaces. This spring, Albuquerque City Council approved the city budget that put $750,000 towards safe outdoor spaces. We passed the city budget with the funds to operate the spaces, even though at the time, whether they would still be in existence was not uh, not really certain. After months of back and forth, safe outdoor spaces were given the green light in a city council meeting on September 6th. But in the same meeting, the council also passed a bill that removed the city funding from them. I don't want to take this money that was budgeted for it in this year and, and put it into uh, some services that I think would do some good right away. Councilor Dan Lewis sponsored that bill. This money will go directly to some of the services that are already provided for veterans uh, in our community that are in need of help. Mayor Tim Keller vetoed it, saying it was, quote, a sad political attempt to use the unhoused veteran community as a pretext to create another barrier to addressing our unhoused challenges. The mayor wrote this. I mean, I'm assuming it was his new political policy people, maybe. I mean, who would write something like that? I take offense that you say it's political poise and that we're waffling and that we're changing our minds too much. I just will not stand for that. On Monday, that veto was voted on by the council. I, I guess I hope it works as just another way of saying I, I honestly I don't believe it's going to work. Um, but it is not fair to say I hope this works and then take away the money that guarantees we have the people to do the work. All those in favor of the override say yes and raise your hand. Opposed? No. And that fails on a five to four vote. I hope that the mayor will own it. That safe outdoor spaces is entirely now on the mayor. And to override the mayor, mayor Keller's veto, the council needed six votes and they only got five. So even though it was a majority of the council, the veto was still upheld, keeping all $750,000 in safe outdoor spaces. Angel Salcedo, KOAT Action 7 News. This is an update.